morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to our channel. Exactly one year ago, our plants is placed in here in this very hot and low humidity area of our greenhouse while we are starting up building this uh, growing area from scratch. But now, look at those plants. They love the shaded and part the sunny area of the growing area. But one thing I noticed, even I put them before here in a very dry, low humidity pot, they still try to keep their best coloration and try. Then, as, they, as, as I place them in this uh, much better area, I noticed that they still look the same as if they were in the much intense light exposure so what's the significance of these thoughts and how can we answer the question that uh, others ask us every time what is the ideal sunlight for these plants and the answer is of course is as much sun sunlight that you can give but before you put all your carnivorous plants in a very hot place and where they can receive as much sun as they can, first let me tell you some guidelines on how can you put them there without harming them and without losing plants as you do it in your own uh, growing area. First, we need to talk about the status of your plant if your plant is uh, from out uh, from indoor and you want to put it outdoor in a pool sun I, ad I advise that you acclimate it first so how can you acclimate an uh, indoor uh, grown plant first uh, put it in a shaded area where it can receive a morning sunlight and late afternoon and in the intense uh, noon uh, sunlight like around 11 a.m. up until 3 p.m. make sure that it has a support of shade shading net or at least some on uh, uh, non carnivorous plant that, like what we have here in a growing area we put a grime uh, bind grapes where it has a very large leaf that protects the plants that is uh, shading down below so as you goes on, after at least like three weeks, you can expose them in, in, in much intense light, receiving sunlight from uh, morning till noon and shaded uh, around uh, 12 until at least 2 p.m. And the simple principle is just uh, expose them gradually in a, in a much intense sunlight. It also helps that you water them much often as you expose them in much uh, intense sunlight. Like before that I put them in the roofing, I water them in the morning and when I see it's in the summer that the, it, the sun is very intense, I also water them in the noon and I water them before I go to sleep. So that it is uh, how much I love my plants and uh, that's how I take care of them until now. So there is no specific recipe for uh, uh, taking care of these plants. As you goes on, you're, you will uh, experience some issues and you will resolve it by your own research and by watching some of our videos and you will notice that these plants is uh, as uh, they have already they they can they can adapt in a different setting but to give you a solid advice for Venus flytrap 90% of them loves full sun but if it is uh, newly propagated I suggest you put them in the shaded area until you see new growth you can expose them gradually until they can uh, manage to live in a 
more sunlight exposure. At night, you don't need to put them inside or in a special uh, area. You just uh, leave them there in a uh, spot. But if you want to be much cautious or careful, you can put them inside a cage or in a greenhouse. Uh, at least you can uh, be secured and comforted that it's protected from small critters and uh, pets like cats and birds that can play with your plants when you are not uh, paying attention at them. As always, I advise you to study or the basic on how to take care of your sphagnumos as well. If you put uh, live sphagnumos together with your Venus flytrap, it will help them to, to grow and you can manage it much easier. So as always, you can see the instruction from an uh, old grower. Like in the international forum, they always advise you to put it in the outdoor pool sand. And that's it. And it's true. In general, the, uh, if you put it uh, outdoor pool sand, they can live uh, quite uh, vigorously. In, uh, but you can't expect that they will uh, be in the best condition right away. The plants need time and uh, uh, your care. For them to be able to survive those days that they are still uh, acclimating their self. And after that, you can notice that this plant is not that hard to grow. It's easy and it's like the uh, same with other plants but they have uh, just uh, different requirements. They need uh, low uh, ppm, uh, medium, low ppm uh, water source and as much sun as they can have and for this uh, like for nepenthes it's better to put them in the shaded area so nepenthes can also live in a pool sun here in tropics but uh, make sure that your plant is already established when you try to uh, expose them in pool sun i already uh, experienced it before and they look really nice they have a brighter coloration green turns red and they're still fresh and they don't have seems to bother and can see any stress or drying up because your plants is activated outdoor and for the seedlings like this it's better to put them in a shaded area where they can receive only morning sun and late afternoon sun as you can see on top of them they, they have also other uh, boxes and they can receive the intense noon sunlight and that way they can uh, grow easier in that place with the help of live sphagnumos again so it's really uh, easy to grow these plants and just uh, important to know the basic first if you don't know the basic and you don't stick on it don't expect that you can uh, experiment and uh, uh, see them in their most beautiful form so know the basic watch some instructional video like this and do your res uh, research and do some experiments time to time so that you can learn from your uh, success and as well as mis your mistake don't uh, <laughs> listen too much to others that they ex impose to you those, those instructions but uh, use your common sense and uh, uh, just follow the basic actually and in some uh, special plants like uh, Cephalotus, Heliumpora and other uh, sensitive plants that we can grow here in the tropics you can ask me or watch, watch the video that we made always in this channel I always update my video so make sure that you subscribe and put comment if you need some uh, special uh, instruction on your plants and growing area so thank you very much once again and see you next video